welcome to today's episode of Life as a Cat Mom. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to take a look at my other videos. I talk about anime and occasional lifestyle videos. I did share a previous video on Mango, my kitten, so be sure to check that out. Linked also below. Some updates. She is getting along really, really well with Beanie. They're best friends already, and yes, they play a lot. At times, it feels like they're gonna break something in the house. The plants have actually been knocked down several times. They've not been eaten yet. And at this point, I really don't know what to do. I tried to bring some more greenery inside the house by planting some cat grass. So good news, the cat grass has been grown well. Um, what? Too bad neither of the cats are actually eating it. Because Beanie will try to eat it, but I think she struggles with actually understanding how to get the grass in her mouth. I don't know, maybe I'll have to cut it up for her or something and put it in a bowl for her. Mango plays with it like it's a new toy. Aww. So I would say operation, try to get more greenery indoors for the cats have failed, ish. Although I still have hope. I think given time, they'll eventually start eating it because they do enjoy sitting next to the grass a lot. Usually I have it near the windowsill to give it some sunlight, but other times I have it on the table and then they just kind of lay around it. In Mego's case, play with it. Look, let me show you guys what they're doing. Look at them. True friendship. Although Beanie always has this expression of wanting to take a nap and getting disturbed by Mango. Okay, let me show you guys. This is the little cat harness. I just took it out of the little bag I got it in. You guys may not know this, but Beanie actually does walk on her harness. We have a bigger one for her. Here's what it looks like. Oh, so cute. I got a red one and a size small for Mango, although I think it's still a little bit too big for her, but we'll see. I'm hoping she'll enjoy it. It'll be a safe way for her to enjoy the outdoors once she's a little bit older. So I've given it to her for her to sniff. Check it out a little bit, get used to the smell, kind of figure out what it is first for her. And she has lost interest already in the first two seconds. Oh, maybe not. There's hope. Oh, in case you guys are wondering why there's this huge piece of cardboard, it's actually for a painting I'm working on, which I wish you guys in an upcoming video. But this is to cover and protect the painting. So update, I did try putting it on. I'm only gonna put it on her for a few minutes. So I'm trying to associate treats with the harness. That's a good thing. Beanie, you're in the way, honey. Here's yours. used to it a little bit faster than I thought. Let me see if a tree can motivate her to go up the steps. Okay, never mind. There goes that. Experiment beanie. Okay. Oh no! Okay, that's enough for day one. Good job, Mango. Good job. And you too, Beanie. <laughs> okay. Ms. Mango, would you share your first experience and feedback on this harness, this product here? She's about 10 months now, and I'd say she's almost full grown cat size. She sleeps a 
lot more and I think she's become a lot calmer. Although that could be because Mango keeps messing with her so she can't sleep. I tried cutting up some of the grass. Beanie seems interested. I don't know if she's gonna eat it though. Nope. No interest from Mango. Oh man, Beanie, are you still struggling? She just tried to grab one. So the test of cutting the grass and putting in a bowl has failed miserably. So it is day three of her unleashing. I know it looks a little bit tight, so I think it's her fur that makes her look fluffier. She's only had it on for a few minutes at a time and she has been running and walking around with it. Hey girl. Good girl, honey. Mingo. Can you guys hear her purring? <laughs> Beanie. So this is her first day out, she's just sniffing around, getting to know the environment. Okay, honey. Beanie, you wanna come say hi? Beanie? She's coming. Hey, yeah. Beanie. Say hi. Beanie's like, no, I don't wanna say hi. Okay. Here you go. Let me put you down. Here you go, Beanie. So, guys, I just came back from taking them out for a little bit of a walk. I. You know, sometimes I take them out when the weather's a little bit warmer. Beanie did retire early because she's more of an antisocial cat. She kind of likes going home a little bit. And then she's, you know, she wants to go back inside. She's not really like a hang outside type of cat anymore. Mango, she enjoys it, but then we had a little bit of noise. So that was not fun. Thank <laughs> you. 